There are three types of venom found in snakes, neurotoxic, cytotoxic, and hemotoxic venom. Neurotoxic venom attacks the nervous system, causing paralysis. Snakes that have this kind of venom have small fangs, so their bite isn't usually painful, and most people don't realize they've been bitten. Examples of such snakes include cobras, mambas, coral snakes, death adder, and the infamous inland taipan. Hemotoxic venom, on the other hand, disrupts the clotting of blood, causing massive internal bleeding and the degeneration of organs. Rattlesnakes, gaboon adders, and cotton mouths are examples of snakes with this type of venom. Then there is cytotoxic venom, a kind of venom found in the majority of vipers, including the puff adder. The puff adder is particularly special because of its vast distribution across its habitat. Can you survive a puff adder bite? It seems improbable. The puff adder has such a quick strike, the only animal that can dodge it might be a cat. Found on the African continent, the puff adder belongs to the viper family, known for their long, hinged fangs that allow them to inject venom deep into their prey, which helps immobilize and digest it. Their venom contains a complex mixture of toxic compounds that primarily target and destroy cells and tissues at the site of the bite, causing severe pain, swelling, blistering, and tissue necrosis around the bite site. Because of their wide distribution, puff adder bites are often fatal. The lack of antivenom in most rural hospitals in Africa will get you in serious trouble if you happen to get bitten. Your chances of survival greatly diminish when you factor in their venom your cells start to die and necrosis slowly sets in. Tissue damage occurs, making the experience extremely painful and to make matters worse, these snakes have been known to bite several times. Before the snake bites, it usually gives a warning by making a puffing sound that gives the snake its name. Just like the rattlesnake shakes its tail as a warning, the puff adder warns you before you get too close. This is what the puffing sounds like. The puffing is a survival mechanism meant to make the snake look larger than it really is and hopefully deter predators from hunting it. Although mongoose don't seem to care and seem to find puff adders very delicious, despite the risk. If a puff adder decides to bite you, you will not escape. This is one of the fastest striking snakes in the world and within 70 milliseconds, its fangs will be inside you. Survival after that is dependent on how soon you get antivenom but considering you are more likely to be bitten in the bush, you're as good as dead if its fangs get you. So the next time you're walking in the African bush, make sure to wear tough boots and keep your ears open to the puffing sound of death. <laughs>